Hey, what's up, guys? This is Daniel back with Bar Shield, back with Bar Tip Tuesday, episode 72. Today, we're going to talk about jerk blocks and kind of the proper use and etiquette with jerk blocks. Um, first and foremost, you want to make sure when you are working from the blocks, doing snatches or deadlifts, that you're giving uh, the appropriate amount of width. So basically, you want to have the plate sit in the middle of the jerk block. That's probably the most important, just so it doesn't kick from side to side and then the shaft of the bar ends up being actually slamming into the wood itself, you know, causing unnecessary force in the bar and then obviously creating a huge gash or chip in the wood. Um, another thing to point out too is um, if you're in a gym that does more than just CrossFit or weightlifting, so something such as powerlifting, um, making sure you're using the appropriate plate so whether it needs to be a bumper plate of some sort or a competition or competition trainer, um, something that's going to be made of that rubber. So something that's not going to be, you know, a hard steel, something like this, because what happens is you start to get this look right here. So basically the wood starts to fray and shift and then it works through to the next layer create some holes to make the surface uneven. So make sure you are using the right plate um, when you're training. The other thing to mention too, is if you're gonna be dropping the bar from overhead, is you, I know with like the road jerk block specifically, you're doing a heavy split jerk, push jerk, push press, whatever it is, or snatch clean or whatever. Make sure you have this reinforcement block that goes on the top here. This is of vital importance to have this on here because if you drop it from overhead, it's a little more hollow than these other other pieces right here, these other sections. So I've seen at least twice where these actually cave in and they crack and they kind of break in a sense. So by having this reinforcement, you can see how thick it is right here. So it's much sturdier. So that's gonna withstand a lot of that force. Um, so make sure you uh, go ahead and use the reinforcement block, make sure you're using the right plates, and uh, that'll make your equipment last longer and be nicer. So make sure you communicate that to your members, and uh, if you have any questions, feel free to hit us up at the information below, and I will see you next week.